Hello, hello. So uh, here we are again. Today I am going over combination and permutation with you guys. This is a fairly um, popular topic starting with pre-calculus. So after the midterm or so, you're going to start going over that. Um, it is very confusing for a lot of people, um, and that's normal. That, that's really normal, so you know, don't feel like you're not getting it um, well enough. Uh, I still get confused with it sometimes, even though I've been doing it forever now. Um, so it is fairly normal, but when I do get you know, a bit confused about what the question is asking, what I do is I go through a, a, a tree, um, combination and permutation tree, I like to call it, and, um, which is what I'm going to be teaching you guys here. Uh, so hopefully it will help you guys with the confusion. Um, all right, let's get started, guys. Okay, before we can start um, making the tree for permutation and combination, the most important thing, uh, anytime you receive these sort of questions um, in class or on your exam, is first be able to distinguish between permutation versus combination. Which one is it? Okay. So once you can say, oh, this is definitely permutation or this is definitely combination, you can forget the other one and just focus on that specific uh, one that you know it is. Okay. So how do I remember this? Uh, what I do is fairly simple. I take a look at the first letter. So this is P. I always think of position. A position as in position, the first position, second position, third position, fourth position. So that means order does matter, right? So an example of that is like a race. If you are uh, finishing in first place or second place or third place, it is much better than finishing last or, you know, you wouldn't want to switch the order of first and second if you came in first, would you? No, you wouldn't. So position and order matters for um, permutation. Okay, now when I take a look at the first letter of combination, I see the word C. I always think of C as the word cool. What I mean by that is like uh, some guy, uh, some cool guy, always wears sunglasses, and uh, you know he's too cool for school. <laughs> Not a very good artist, but um, so he doesn't like order. Right? No rules. Too cool. So, um, no, no rules, no order. That's how I think of combination. And, and when I think about it this way, it has never failed me. Okay? So again, if, if he's cool, he doesn't want any order. No order. Okay? Uh, so once you're able to distinguish those, we can now uh, think of uh, the next thing. Okay. The next thing you need to think about is whether or not um, there is repetition in um, in each of the one you ch you chose. Okay. So if you're in permutation, you can it can either have repetition or no repetition. Same thing with combination. You can either have repetition or no repetition. And it does matter. So, for example, if you know that it's permutation, you gotta ask whether or not uh, you can repeat a certain letter, a certain number, a certain uh, position. Um, so, for example, something that can have repetition and permutation is if you have a bike lock. Okay. Uh, let's say you have nine numbers, and for the bike lock, you can pick three numbers to make a a, a code. So basically a code that only contains three numbers. Um, so you can either say the code can be repeated. So for example, you can have the code 343 three, um, or you know a code four four four. That's totally different than uh, if you have a safety box which is more complex you have the number from 0 to 9 and it said that you can pick 
uh, a, a four number code and the numbers cannot be repeated. So you can say one, two, four, five, but you can't say, you know, one, two, four, four, which is in this case, right? And the, the reason I picked a safety lock and a, and a bike lock is because the, the order of the numbers does matter, right? If you pick a, a code, 343 three, and then you accidentally enter 334 three, it's not gonna work right so that's why order matters and that's how I always look at it same thing with combination you either going to have repetition or no repetition okay um, so once you determined uh, each case now if you know that a certain case is comp is a permutation so that means orders matter you can now forget about combination okay and then we can think of uh, again whether they are not they are repetition or no repetition if there are repetition allowed and let's say you have nine numbers you're allowed to choose from and you can only pick uh, a three if, if the uh, the lock is only have a three number code and you are allowed to repeat a number then you need to use this formula okay, it basically mean I have nine items I only use three of the nine items and I can repeat the items okay remember where n stands for all the things or object you have and x you choose x things from the total n things okay if, rep if repetition is not allowed, then you can use like uh, this formula right here. So for example, if you have nine numbers, but um, the code does not let you uh, repeat um, a number, and it's a four number code, then you would basically have nine minus four, and then parenthesis factorial. Okay. Um, okay, so that's for permutation. The same thing goes for combination. Okay. So if once you determine that it is a combination and not permutation, you can forget about the, the permutation part. And then again, ask yourself, is it repetition or no repetition? And uh, the letters stand for the same thing again. And are the total uh, things for all the the, uh, the object that you have x stands for the things that uh, um, you can choose out of the total things right so the repetition is a bit more complex than no repetition in combination okay uh, uh, luckily though um, this situation doesn't happen a lot um, on tests or exam as I noticed but it does happen. Uh, this happened more frequently. Um, and so hopefully your teacher is nice enough to give you a, a note sheet. Or else, you know, you just have to memorize it. There's no other way around it. Um, or you can use reasoning uh, as to help you memorize this formula. But uh, other than that, um, this is the, uh, the step I typically go through uh, if I uh, get confused about a certain problem. Now, um, here's the, uh, the path I would take. So first, determine permutation versus combination. And then once I determine something uh, is a permutation or a combination, I would get forget the other, right? Um, and then go down the branch and then use the appropriate formula uh, for each situation, okay? Now, I was going to make uh, some example and then give you guys uh, plenty of, of, um, of problems to take a look at so you get used to it but uh, it might make this video a bit long so what I'm going to do is have a part two for this um, uh, which will have um, plenty of extra examples for you to uh, get clear regarding permutation and combination okay so catch the part two